I remember when I was growing up, my mom used to push my siblings around. She made them do most of the chores while I did very little. If any work was too difficult, I got excused, all because my parents thought I was so special and needed to be treated specially. The result is that after many years of being pampered, my two siblings had started to face life real early than I. My older brother started his first business before he was even a teenager. My young sibling moved out of the house to build a life for himself before he was 18. I, on the other hand, was still living with my parents at age 24. It's a sad story, but I had learned to never take responsibility for anything. If anything went wrong, it wasn't my fault. It had to be because someone didn't do something right or the situation was just programmed to feel right from the start. I know there are several habits that make young people poor, but I have never seen a habit as destructive as using the blame game. It is one habit that would ruin a person faster than he would imagine. Thinking the government owes you. I live in a country of over 200 million people. Right from when I was little, I have always heard over 85% of the citizens complain about the government. If something isn't going right, as a lot of things truly aren't going right, it is the government. Severally, there have been heavy downpours that led to floods which pulled down houses because the drainages were overfilled. We blame it on the government. But a mammoth population throws their waste and disposable bottles into the drainages. If the unemployment rate increases, blame the government. If power is poor, blame the government. If things aren't working properly, blame the government. Blame the government for everything and we are safe. But most just don't blame the government. They blame their backgrounds. They blame their bosses. They blame the dire situations. They blame their lack of resources or connection for the success they don't have. When I decided to change my life, the first thing I discovered I had to do away with was the blame game. I realized nobody was responsible for my life. Although there were things that happened and were caused by people and situations, those people and situations could not determine how my life ends. I alone could. There is a power resident in each one of us, given to us by God to make us wonders. Nobody, except God himself, can stop us from becoming the person we were made to be if we chose to assume that life. We are who we are now, because this is the kind of person we have chosen to be. Successful people sacrifice the blame game. If Elon Musk had played the blame game, they wouldn't be Tesla or SpaceX. If Walt Disney had blamed his failures, there wouldn't be a Disneyland or all the Disney success. If Michael Jordan had blamed the government, he wouldn't be a successful basketballer. You make your life and you become what you make. You are a product of what you have chosen to be, either intentionally or unintentionally. As long as you keep thinking someone is responsible for your problem, you will never take the responsibility to stand up to do what you must to make things work. Nobody is responsible for your problem. You are. Nobody can make you fail or make you succeed. Only you can. Yes, truthfully, people can antagonize you. Situations can be unpalatable. There are unforeseen circumstances that tend to stand in our way to greatness. But nobody can hold you back from becoming the person you were made to be except you. For a long time, I thought I was failing academically because I was dull or because I was in the wrong department, but it soon turned it was only because I had chosen never to try. I had chosen to remain the same person that I was years ago. I was comfortable with doing nothing about a situation that was unpalatable, and since I was going to do nothing about the situation, the situation would remain the same. What you do nothing about remains the same. The law of inertia is that an object in motion or at rest remains in that state until it is acted upon by an external force. I have learned the hard way that to become a failure isn't difficult. Just do nothing. But to become a repeated success requires a decision to live intentionally. Take for example, if you do not choose to think positive thoughts intentionally, you will always think negative thoughts. Most people experience constant failures in their lives because they fail to take charge of their thoughts. Yet. No matter how you see it, your life is a product of your thoughts. What you think you are is what you become. So, successful people choose their thoughts wisely as they choose their habits wisely. You see, as humans, we are messed up. We don't need to do anything to learn what is wrong. We naturally absorb what is wrong and do it. But if we will ever do what is right and achieve what is right, we must be deliberate about it. If you will ever achieve the kind of success that drops your jaw or the jaw of anyone, you must be willing to quit the blame game because nobody is responsible for your woes. Quit the blame game. Quit blaming the government because the government owes you nothing. 
The government is filled with equally selfish people like you. Quit blaming your parents, because they were broke. If they could, they would have chosen a better life. Quit blaming your mistakes, because mistakes are a part of life. If you have made mistakes in the past, who hasn't? Letting your past mistakes hold you back is as selfish as expecting your government to do for you what you should do for yourself. If you cannot build your life using what you have, you are not deserving of the life that you have. We are all given life, not so that we can live for ourselves, but so that we will all strive to fulfill the boundless potentials within us. We can make the world a better place for others. When you live below the person you were made to be, you do not only cheat yourself, you cheat others whose lives you were supposed to impact. Imagine if we didn't create this channel as well as other channels like this that we have. Imagine if we had sat back, moping about how our lives aren't going good and how we don't have anything we need to make our lives better. You would not be watching this video. And the thousands of lives we impact every week would not be impacted. It may take a while, but with one video per time, we are reaching and helping far more young people than our heads can count. That is the result of giving up the blame game to live a full life, a life of sacrifice where you stop living for yourself, quit expecting others to do for you what you should do for yourself, and a life where you start to live out your potentials. This won't be easy at first, but success itself is never easy. Success will never be handed to you on a golden platter. Like I always say, if you want success, you must go after it with a club and dustpan, knock it out cold, and drag it back to your house. Otherwise, success can be so slippery it will sleep past you while you're sleeping and sloppy. Do you want boundless success? Stop blaming your government. Stop blaming your parents. Stop blaming your background or your upbringing. Stop blaming your lack of resources. Stop blaming your mistakes. Then, start using what you have to get what you need. Start being intentional with your life. Start seeing the opportunities in situations instead of complaining about the problems. Start doing. Start acting. And start working on changing who you are now to who you really want to be. Because if you don't achieve a life of success, it is entirely your fault. If this video inspired you, subscribe to our channel. We love you.